Bobby Jean, directed by Alvira Lind, 2012, is a documentary surrounding the contemporary dancer Bobby Jean. Jean is an American dancer, studying at Juilliard until she left to join the Bathsheba Dance Company, dancing for them for 10 years. The company is ran by Ohad and had its own documentary made about him and his work called Mr. Gaga, 2015, directed by Tomer Heyman. After a performance with actor Oscar Isaac, known for films such as Star Wars The Force Awakens, in a piece choreographed by herself, Isaac's partner, Alvira Lind, a filmmaker, Songs for Alexis, 2014, became interested in Jean's work. This is then what became of the documentary in which Lind documented Jean's life in between her leaving the Bathsheba company and moving back to the States to create her own work. This observational documentary follows Bobby Jean, documenting her life as she leaves Israel, the Bathsheba company and her own lover to go back to the States where she is originally from to pursue her own work. She counters many issues like feelings of loneliness and stress from trying to be successful in the dance industry on her own. We see lots about her life, including her preparing for her solo performance. Lynn's documentary is much more than just a documentary. Like many documentaries has, have a narrative, it is much more on the nose about its staging, portraying it almost like a drama romance film as well as a documentary. For structure, this film has got a steady paced out narrative with the highs few and far between. Although seen by some critics as negative, I feel this worked well in portraying the choreographic process Jean goes through, as well as dealing with her personal life. As well as revealing her past struggles through her childhood and teenagehood when going back to her family home, the blanket narrative structure of beginning, middle and end is interspiced with aspects like Jean's personal life. This makes this documentary more about dance than it is about change in someone's life and the dramatic effect it can have on a person's personal life. Using dance to portray this is an effective way as dance is a universal language that can be used to present feelings and anyone watching can relate. The aspect of this documentary that stands out is the camera work portraying Jean's isolation when she is in the States working in a performance. She is marking through the piece behind the stage before it begins, and we see her stretch in this long, cold corridor by herself, blocking out everyone else as people walk past, almost blanking her as she looks on, almost frustrated. It is quite similar to the scene in Black Swan, 2010, Darren Aronofsky, when Natalie Portman's character is sat in the corridor by herself in the cold colours of the walls, isolated and alone. Another scene to give example of the documentary film storytelling is when we get personal with Jean. The camera begins by itself looking at her family home and at children's photos. We get this dialogue between Jean and her mother. Uh, we then get this dialogue of Jean with the baby and her struggling with the baby. Motherhood being something Jean is uninterested in, and from the references to religion prior in the film, from the mise-en-scene of the crosses in the family home and her mother's direct reference to religion is something Jean was thought to have had produced, a family. But we see her disinterest in this, yet her acceptance of which is a positive representation. I feel showing a woman is not obliged to be a mother, the next scene I want to focus on is Jean's rehearsal, showing her vulnerability in the piece. She's performing as she has one outlooker, but is still distanced. Jean wants to create a piece of vulnerability, and we see this in the use of not only the dance, but the shot. I feel non-dancers could then have an understanding of how this movement can be portrayed as isolated without talking down to the audience or being too on the nose. Always in filmmaking, you should talk up to people, not talk down. And I feel this is what Lynn does with her filmmaking. 
The expression of Jean's sexuality, especially to her mother, who again implements this religion, although accepting, she discusses her concern. This is shot walking across the street with cars driving by. We see the awkwardness of the conversation, but we also see how they are still together. And as Jean explains her choices, we see them bonding and these intimate moments. However, we then see this juxtaposition with the outside world when they are also confused by it. Although frustrating to explain to her mother, Jean has to explain to the world her choices in her art pieces. We see the romances. We as an audience know its stage as intimate moments are shown. The closeness of the camera and the way they move with each other, we almost feel like we are intruding and we feel almost uncomfortable, like we shouldn't be there. Then when we see their separation, we feel connected in their relationship and their chemistry and see and feel how upsetting it is. When we have the main event of the performance, we see a close up um, of her lover who is viewing her vulnerability of the dance and almost has a look of worry to make sure she is okay. Doing this as the piece has a lot of emotional baggage. What Linda is also opening us up to is movement motifs. As we see the movement motif we keep seeing throughout the film being repeated, and when she finally performs the piece, the music along with this makes us feel almost proud of Jean after all the work she got to finally perform the piece. The film ends with Jean teaching in New York, ending with a close-up of her face with her students in the background. Jean having a look of proudness and happiness she has gained from becoming independent and creating her own work despite the struggle, enforcing the idea that sometimes you need to find pleasure with what weighs you down. 